Hello everyone, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you easily create these type of uh, gold text um, that can you can easily use for any sort of uh, headlines where you want to create a very strong call of action and uh, if you are working on the digital creative signboards or whatever you would like to do, you can use these type of techniques to create a golden text uh, or something related to this, this uh, type of a styling. So I want to create create a similar one uh, uh, for you so let's start now first of all what I'm going to do I'm simply creating a new document here, here. I'm using these uh, uh, specification for the size 1280 pixels and 720 pixels uh, in height and a color mart would be the RGB here and the roster effect uh, will be 300 ppi so I will go with these settings now and uh, here I want to reduce the magnification around uh, 66 percent so it will be more you know adjustable according to our screen so now what I'm going to do and simply create a black background layer here the black is the most uh, you know demanding color for eliminating text uh, or anything where you want to create a, a strong uh, um, you know presence so black is the most uh, uh, suitable color for that so I'm going to use this one here and uh, now what I'm going to do I'm simply taking this layer uh, I want to lock this layer first uh, by pressing control 2 and, uh, and now it will not distract you but if you want to unlock it then you can go into the object and here you can unlock all and you can uh, unlock the layer as well all layers will be unlocked if you are going to choose this option and uh, now the next thing that I'm going to do here I will use this type tool and here I want to write uh, gold and it's a simple text or the plain text uh, this is a default font of uh, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator so you can press shift and just scale it up like this and you can see how it would be looking like first of all what I'm going to do I'm, I will change the font I, I want to use the Bohus 93 this is the free font that you can if you don't have this font uh, by default installed in your font library then you can easily download it from the font.com if you don't know how to down, uh, download the fonts then you can check out my tutorial on the how to download the font I will give the link in the description box so you can easily find it so now what I'm going to do I will simply change the font here and now I will go into the character here and I will do the proper spacing so I will go with the 100 one so it will be looking like this now the next thing that I'm going to do I'm simply scaling up the size to adjust the letters and now I will go and convert it into the outline so you can create outlines and uh, now you can see all layers are converted into the outline so you can, we can work around it uh, now the next thing that i am going to do here i am simply placing it in the middle of the artboard and now i will turning off this fill color from here and just uh, you know shifting this color to the stroke color and now turning it off by using this uh, it, uh, you know uh, way and now i'm going to increase the stroke weight which is around five point so it will be looking like this now the next thing that i'm going to do i'm simply taking this uh, uh, um, uh, a switch option from here for the strokes and uh, here you can go into the gradients you know in here you can choose the gems and jewels and here you can choose this uh, trying color from here so it will be looking like this but you can see the stroke color is still black and the fill color is the, converted into this uh, trying um, you know uh, take a color palette so what I'm going to do I'm simply shifting it here and now removing this from here so you can see how it would be looking like this now now the next thing that I'm going to do I'm simply go selecting the text and go into the object path here you can choose the offset path and I want to define the offset path around 15 pixels let's see how it would be look like so it will be looking like this now if you want to create uh, you know more combined form then I will go with the 5 pixels I think 5 pixels is more you know uh, desired version as compared to 15 pixels now what I'm going to do I will just select the inner layer 
but before that you have to ungroup it and now I am removing this one from here and now you can just uh, uh, selecting the inner layer of this text like this and now go into the object again and here you can go into the path offset path and now you can just uh, turn on the preview mode so you can see how it would be look like and here you can check it out how the design is looking but uh, we are working on minus 15 or minus 25 so you can check it out how it would be look like when you are doing these things and you can press I think 20 will be fine yes uh, so I will go with this one so you can see how it would be looking like now the next thing that I am going to do I will select the inner layers like this and uh, just turning off uh, turning on the fill color from here so you can see it will be looking like this now and now I am turning off this uh, stroke color from here so you, it will be looking more sharp as compared to previous one okay so now what I am going to do I am simply taking this layer the uh, internal layer of the text and now going to into the object again here I will choose the path offset path and this time I will choose the 10 pixels minus 10 pixels so you can see how it would be looking like so I will select this one press ctrl G to group it up and uh, now what I am going to do I am simply taking the color from it from here and before that what I am going to do I am simply going to the effect blur and here you can choose the Gaussian blur and the Gaussian blur you can ch change the levels from here ch turn on the preview mode so I will go with the higher version so you can see there is illumination around uh, the internal part of this cold text and now you can press ok from here and one thing that I want to do I want to make it more you know to emphasize the uh, this uh, illumination part what I am going to do I am turning on this uh, stroke color from here and now I will turn it to 10 points so let us see so you can see the illumination is more powerful as compared to previous one so I will go with this settings now and our text is almost ready. So if you want to apply these type of uh, text uh, for your headlines or if you are working on the digital signboards or something like that then you can uh, create these type of uh, text. So this is the simple technique so if you are a beginner learning illustrator and you want to know the basic techniques then you can apply these things in a more diverse way. Thank you so much for watching if you like my tutorial then please thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye.